I regret buying this dog. I should have bought more paint for my house and plants for my garden beds. All right. Already. Bang or start. All right. Also, I mean, if you're queasy about like people talking about animals in an abusive way, nope the fuck out of this one, yeah, guys. Okay, so that's the tr- okay, trigger warning animal. Trigger warning. Yeah, okay. The, no animal abuse happens. But just being shitty to animals. They're talking about them in a pretty shitty way. Okay. All right. I bought a husky puppy from a backyard breeder about a week ago. I knew the risks of buying them from a disreputable breeder, but I still I was still willing to take on the responsibility of caring for the dog. <laughs> Let me add, I wasn't looking for a pet. What? I'm a single woman and need the extra protection, especially with women and girls being taken and trafficked. I figured I could use the husky's keenness and alertness to train her as a watchdog and alert me for, to people I couldn't see. Um. And use her stature and appearance to deter people from approaching while out in public. This is already super weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, uh, okay, all right. I get the feeling, but like, a hus- people are going to be like, oh, a husky. Eee! Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's just, let's go, yeah, all right. Okay. I planned on raising her from a pup because I thought it was better to establish that bond at a young age. I did a lot of research and read the stories of other husky owners to get a feel for the actual experience. Well, after actually having one of these things, I'm (laughs) convinced these people are 1,000% delusional about their dogs. Yeah, it's everyone's fault but mine. It's actually, it's everyone else but me. (laughs) They said it's normal for huskies to be a bit stubborn and independent. Well, she knows basic commands like sit, stay, down, come here, drop it, and leave it. She came to be knowing sit and lay down. She caught on very quickly to come here, drop it, and leave it. But if she's not getting a treat or some benefit out of doing as commanded, she won't do it. That's how you do that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Training. If I'm commanding her to sit just to test her agreeableness. All right. She stares at me and willfully refuses to do as commanded. This is not stubbornness. This is defiance. (laughs) (laughs) And it's not normal. Not normal. Or good. No, 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 no. Bro, the doggy wants a treat. Doggy wants a treat, yeah. That's, I mean, that's one of the basic... Yeah, I get what you mean. Christ. Yeah, okay. Defiance in a dog makes absolutely no sense and should be a big red flag that something is not psychologically right with the damn thing. Really referring to the dog as a thing. Yeah, it's really... Yeah, it Jesus gets worse. Christ. Um, they also said it's normal for huskies to be vocal, and this pup is vocal, but it's not good or normal behavior for a 13-week-old puppy... What? ...to consistently howl and yelp because she doesn't like being in her kennel. It's normal. That sounds pretty normal, yeah. Um, it's actually an early sign of separation anxiety. I did more digging into separation anxiety in dogs, and other signs include constantly following the owner around... And always wanted to be touched by the owner. Both things my puppy does. It's also things normal puppy does. Yeah, honestly. They want to be pet. They want to be pet. They want love and affection. And you're not giving them that because you're using them as a tool. Um, I'm off from work for two weeks. We've been crate training consistently all day for three days now. And she still has an associated howling with a lack of attention. I try the positive reinforcement like I was taught to do in training class. Rewarding her with my presence when she gets quiet. But as soon as I walk into the next room, she's back to howling. And it's not like she isn't smart. She catches on quickly. She just doesn't want to be in the crate, so she acts out rather than catch on to the routine. Once she yelped and howled, and I figured she needed to go out to go potty, but she didn't. She just wanted out. So now, instead of howling to go potty, she howls to get out or to go outside, but quietly pees and craps in her crate. Yeah, it sounds a, like normal dog yeah, shit. Yeah, like puppy. Yeah, you signed up for this. You're gonna have to puppy crate train. Yeah. Buy a gun if you want protection. <laughs> I know you're looking for a gun. You're looking for a gun. You're not looking yeah. for a dog. You can do you, a gun won't howl. And a gun, it will not. Yeah, and you can actually call it a thing because it's a thing. It is an object. It's not a living, breathing creature that wants love and attention. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Besides, Jesus <laughs> Christ! I fucking hate this person. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, they're the worst. Yeah, they're the worst. I regret buying this dog. 
I should have bought more paint for my house and plants for my garden beds. Besides the poor temperament and separation anxiety, she refuses to be bathed and grooved and groomed. She smelled horrible when I bought her because she had been kept outside. The breeder told me he would bathe the available puppies, but when I got there and picked her out, he said she was the only one he didn't bathe. This is funny because I think it's just, I I don't know. I like the personality that this dog has. Honestly. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. It wasn't a big deal. I figured I would just bathe her at home. Well, she was reluctant to even get near the tub, let alone go in it. I picked up her. I picked her up and tried to rinse her off, and she freaked. I tried to give her a treat to calm her down. She refused it. I held her while I washed her and tried to rinse her again, and she nipped at me. I tried again to bathe her with the hose outside. She ran through my flower beds. I have to put the shampoo. Not the flower beds. <laughs> I have to put the shampoo on a towel and wipe her down every day because she stinks. But she runs from that. I bought some puppy deodorant, which does work, but I'm not about to buy that shit every week. Oh my god. And she attracts fleas very easily. Get you you got a puppy. Get, there's flea meds. You, you <laughs> fucking use them. Yeah, you give them. You flea have meds. to take care of your, your what, Yeah. <laughs> like, you gotta take care yeah. of what you wanted your gun to be. Yeah. yeah. Like Jesus Christ. Yeah, no. Not wanting to be bathed was the deal breaker for me. It became impossible for this dog to ever have a chance at bonding with me at this point. She's also needy, whiny, and tries to demand I do what she wants when she wants. Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> She's like a it's child. A like, child, yeah. Oh my god. What a great mother you're gonna fucking turn out to be. <laughs> exactly. Jesus I mean, maybe Christ. you don't want kids, but like, good if you don't want yeah, kids, because you would you don't suck want at kids. this. Yeah, you would fucking suck. Jesus. <laughs> Like, she tried to demand I feed her at 10 o'clock at night by jumping in and pushing around her food tray while staring at me, even though she didn't eat when the fuck I put her food out earlier in the evening. She wants to eat when she wants, not when I tell her to. Oh, no. (laughs) All cats, oh, no. I don't know what that means. Oh, no. (laughs) And it's the end of the paragraph, too. Oh, my God. How much more is there? A lot. A lot. Oh, Uh, my God. Besides her shitty disposition and poor hygiene, the breeder lied about her age. He said she was eight weeks, but she was actually 12 weeks, so I spent more money than I planned getting her vaccinated for the first time because it cost more um, out of the vet than she... Oh, wait, wait. Because it cost more for first-time pups after eight weeks of age, and I found out at the vet that she was infested with worms. Oh, my God. Poor baby. That sucks, yeah. Granted, she was in good health otherwise, which is a relief given where I got her from, but having worms is still a sickness. I saw the specks in her poop, and she crapped in my when she crapped in my bathroom but the vet com- confirmed it gave her 2.5 doses of worm medi- medication and she's been crapping dead worms for the past week the dumbass tried to eat her own crap so i punched her snout abuse that's she, pretty bad yeah she looks her groin and her worm infested butthole then tries to lick me in the face whenever i bend down to leash her <laughs> she like sounds a really like fucking a cute yeah. yeah oh my god I'm grossed out just by looking at her. Every time she tries to lick me or get me to pet her, I shoo her away. Any space she occupies in my house feels so unsanitary and unhealthy. I really hate this dog, and I don't trust her. But the delusional husky people guilt you to believe that if you can't handle a husky, then the issue is with you, not the dog. Uh, It is with you. Yeah, it is with you, yeah. I have a pretty decent enough schedule to exercise this dog every day. She barely wants to walk five minutes. She thinks outside is for eating and inside is for running around and playing. She also crosses in front of me on the staircase. I've almost tripped three times. And that's not, come <laughs> it's on, not that many times. Come on. I also have a pretty decent sized yard area at my townhouse where she can run around and play, but she is not fully vaccinated, has worms and fleas, refuses to bathe, and I don't trust her to, to listen off leash. You know, actually, it's the dog's fault for not going to the dog doctor and getting all her dog. Yeah, meds. I know. Yeah, she should have done that herself. Yeah. Why would I take her out there to play? She has toys, treats, a lick mat, and puzzles to keep her mentally engaged. And I keep my AC on 68 all day to make sure she's cool because it's hot here in Louisiana. (laughs) And I know she's not made for this climate. You bought a husky in Louisiana and you're having problems and you think it's the dog's problem. Yeah, no, it's your fault. Yeah, it's uh, all this is could have been avoided. You suck so much. So the problem isn't me. It's this dog. But ding bad. Husky fault but mine. <laughs> okay, I'll read that again. <laughs> so the problem isn't me. It's this dog. But ding bad. Husky owners don't understand that no sane person would continue to spend time, energy and financial resources 
on a seriously problematic dog. And why would I try to please a dog? She's a dog. dog? Why would I try to please a dog? She's a dog. I'm definitely not about to go out of my way to cater to a shit-eating, worm-infested, imbecile animal that thinks she's independent but needs attention all day, every day to feel good. I can't express enough how much I hate this dog and why. I can't wait to get rid of her. Okay, here we go. If she was in the Arctic, she would have been starved or shot for being so useless. Oh my god. Hell, they would have starved and shot her just for being disobedient. (laughs) Because who the fuck puts up with a defiant dog? That's asinine. I'm thinking of just letting her run away because I refuse to burden someone with this dog's poor breeding and psychopathic behavior. Yeah, yeah, the dog's a psychopath here. Yeah. Am I the asshole for skipping my biological daughter's graduation? (laughs) Yes. To attend my potential stepkids instead. I, 41 male, have an ex, which I have three children with, one of which recently had her high school graduation. My daughter, Angie, 17 female, late birthday, invited me to her graduation, and I said I'd be there. I am currently in a committed relationship to my girlfriend of a few months, 41 female. Oh my god, what? A few months, yeah. Oh, shit. Who has a daughter, Lauren, 24 female. Lauren recently graduated with a bachelor's in biology. A week before the graduations, I was then given an invite by my girlfriend and Lauren to her graduation. Her father passed away and she told me it would mean the world to have someone there to support her in his place. I agreed before learning what the date and time of the event was. Classic mistake. Yeah. Day of the graduation, I'm getting ready to head over to Angie and her mother's house to head off to the ceremony. My girlfriend asked me why I'm getting ready so early, so I explained it's in two hours, got an hour's drive, and want to make sure I'm there on time so I don't hold them up as well as travel time to the venue. Then she cuts me off to say she had no idea that was today and told me uh, and told me today was also Lauren's graduation. Oh, shit, fuck. Lauren's ceremony was three hours after the start time of Angie's graduation. I did some math and figured I had time to at least be partially present for Angie's graduation, give her the gift I had for her, and take some pictures beforehand, but my girlfriend was not too happy with the idea, stating it would be devastating if I didn't keep my prom- promise to Lauren. And that I wouldn't be, quote, stepfather material if I blew her off like that. I tried to explain I'd still be there for the entirety of Lauren's ceremony with this plan, but she just wouldn't listen, but wouldn't give me any reason why either besides just me, quote, owing it to her and her daughter. Holy shit. What a bitch. Yeah. I'm sorry. I let that get the best of me and gave Angie a call, told her I was having issues with my car and wouldn't be able to attend. You fucking lied, dog! Yeah. However, I would see her as soon as I could to get the gifts and take her out to dinner to celebrate with me. I went to Lauren's ceremony later in the day. Of course, I was in some of the pictures, which were posted on Facebook, and I was tagged in them. You fucking idiot. My wife and probably Angie, too, saw the photos on my page. You horrible little idiot. My ex-wife is livid, saying I betrayed my daughter and blew her off for some other kid I barely know or have any responsibility for. I tried to play it off like we took Lauren's car there, but she didn't listen. Still lying. (sighs) She said I could have done better, could have done more. With stuff like Uber and Lyft, I could have gotten a ride if I cared enough to see her and pay the fees. But I just decided not to, and I don't deserve to be in her life anymore. Angie isn't responding to my calls to set up our agreed-upon dinner date to celebrate her achievement. Am I the asshole, or are they just blowing things out of proportion? I can't understand how not even bothering to attend partially would make me the asshole, but I figured planning a day just for her separately would make up for that. Am I wrong? There's an edit. Okay, what's the edit? I also want to bring up a two comments, because some of the OP of this uh, Am I the Devil post brought up uh, two, two some, comments. Some more comments, yeah. okay. Okay, so, edit. Me and Angie were never close. She's what I considered my, quote, different slash boring child. Always on her phone around me. We never shared any interests. It's not like we were buddy buddy. Angie always had social problems. Bro, I am I, quite I, close it, to Lauren. It, it, I I was about to be like, man, fucking women fuck this up for you, man. I was about to be like, dog, no, no, no. women suck. You suck ass. You also suck, yeah. Holy shit. Angie always had social problems. I am quite close to Lauren. She's very funny and outgoing. Easy enjoys engaging in conversation slash debate with me. Addison, someone said I barely knew Lauren, and original OP had two comments under the post. Okay. Stuff. Okay. Me and Angie were never close. She was what I consider my different boring child, always on her phone around me. We never shared any interest. It wouldn't be too much of a shame, but I really wanted to at least do my duties as a father, 
if she relinquishes me of that, I guess I wouldn't do anything to stop it. And the second one. What a fuck. I honestly know more about my girlfriend's daughter than my own. She never bothered to get to know me. Your own Your daughter? Your own daughter, yeah. I think it works I don't, the opposite way. 